Hi guys, it's Jen with Woodland the Wanderlust, and in this video, I'm giving you my top tips to a Kiowa Springs State Park. Springs was one of those parks that I planned as a surprise for my husband's birthday. I knew there was a ton to do there and some really cool stuff, so I planned it for his birthday weekend. We have one of the most amazing times at Wakawa Springs. There are tons of what I like to call adventure, outdoor activities to do, and sites to go see. So let's cover what we were able to do. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. So the top thing that you definitely wanna do while you're there is to go kayaking. So we brought our own kayaks. One notable thing is that the kayak launch is really far away from the parking lot. So you are going to need um, a trolley to bring your kayaks down or be super strong and carry them. My husband actually is a veteran and has some back issues, so he, we had to drag them that time because I could not carry both kayaks by myself. So we kind of scraped up the bottom of our kayaks. So don't do that because you're walking in through the grilling kind of part of pavilion part of the, the campground and then the ramp down to the kayak launch definitely does have some like, um, almost like garden pavers, like concrete stuff. So you do not, we, yeah, we would just, we just were fed up and dragged it, but I would not recommend doing that. Um, and you can bring your kayak down there and launch it for free because we were staying at the state park, but you can definitely rent your own kayaks. So the really cool thing about the kayaking experience, and I'll get into one of the trips that we did, was that you are going to kayak down the Wakaiwa River. Actually a portion of Knight's Landing dumps right out um, where that is at. So we kayak down and there's a place that is called Wakiva Island. And Wakiva Island is a really fun place to kayak to. So we actually kayaked there, I think at least like twice during our stay. We um, tied up our kayaks there and um, it is a kind of like outdoorsy bar kind of atmosphere. So they do have a little shop, which of course I really super indulged myself and bought some Wakiba Island clothing, which I love to this day still. So they have an outdoor bar portion and really it's kind of like a, a stop place to like stop and hang out. There's there is like a big field, um, several places where people are throwing like hacky sacks, there's a volleyball court. There's tons of places along the river to hang out. So you can definitely like plop down in a chair or a spot and um, cozy up and kind of hang out for the day and hang out in the water a little bit. I also noticed that they have like private little sections, little um, pavilions that you could rent. So that looks really cool for like a party or something. And then they have food trucks there. So you can grab a bite to eat. They have um, a covered like picnic table area. So that was really delicious. So we had a great time kayaking down there one evening, um, grabbing some drinks, grabbing some dinner, and then heading back. So I think we did that actually two days in a row. So it was a lot of fun. All right, so let's get into the other items to do at the park. So there are lots of hiking trails to do at Wakaiwa. You can um, hike all around. It takes you through different habitats, which I always find like really, really cool when you're going through a hike. You're just going from like a marshy area to a scrub forest, to so, like a field. So you're definitely gonna get lots of that when you go hiking at Wakaiwa. Where you are staying at the campground, be prepared to drive down to the actual springs. One of the really neat things about the campground was that there are wild turkeys that just kind of like roam everywhere. I would kind of like walk around the little loop at the um, campground area and they they were just hanging out on some of the empty sites, which was really, really neat to see. There are also lots of deer there at Wakaiwa and it was actually the first place in Florida that I've ever seen a deer with antlers on. So that was a really cool experience for us. So 
So let's talk about the springs at the park. So when you come from the parking lot, it really is just like this majestic view of like a huge hill that just rolls down to the spring. It kind of is an enclosed spring area. There's tons of places to swim. Um, it's got that beachy atmosphere where people just kind of like set their stuff down for the day and swim and hang out. There are lots of pavilions on um, the other side of the parking lot where you can grill and sit and camp and hunker your stuff down. There also is like a little food shack, so you can um, order some food there. They have a, a deck in the sitting area that kind of overlooks the spring a little bit. So that was a really, really unique kind of aspect to this park. When it comes to the springs, I would definitely recommend getting up, if you're camping there, getting up really early and going down there because it will get crowded. But just like every other springs we go to, if you go really early, in the morning, you can pretty much have the whole place to yourself. Let's get to my top things that I always like to discuss in every video, and that's bathrooms, bugs, and what's nearby. So the bathrooms were clean. I had no problems with those. Check, check. The what is nearby, definitely lots of nearby. Like I said, I think King's Landing is, um, I haven't been there yet, I really wanna go. You could kayak or even drive to Wakiva Island. So there's plenty of stuff nearby Wakiva Springs for you to access in case you forget something or you need to run out real fast. Lastly, the bugs. The only bug that we ran into, because it's obviously Florida, are the mosquitoes. So definitely bring lots of buggy stuff to keep them away. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.